Now it's time to sample a European motorcycle whose name Mana means hand in Italian. I'm assuming this motorcycle's connection to its name comes from knowing that if push came to shove, you could literally ride this motorcycle with one hand. That's of course if it's your right hand. That's because this liquid-cooled 840cc single overhead cam 90 degree V-twin with its steel trellis frame and inverted 43mm fork comes with a CVT transmission. That's right, a continuously variable transmission which allows for a very scooter-like twist-and-go experience. As a result, there's no clutch. Just release the handbrake down by your left knee and you're off with the twist of a wrist. Mana, right? Well, sure, but wait, that's not all. With the flick of a switch, you can select a manual mode that will let you flick up and down through the seven gear ratios, triptonic style, using your thumb and forefinger. The mana can also be shifted via the good old foot lever. Again, no clutch required. Very interesting. But how does it work? Well, here's this week's guest road tester, Steve Bond. Mano a mana. Well, Steve, if I may, if I could give my first impression when you rolled up this morning, I just couldn't believe it. You know, big gaping hole here, there's no clutch lever. Yep, there's no clutch lever, Dave. This is sort of the, the, the Monty Python of motorcycles. It's like, and now for something completely different. No kidding. And this, this Aprilia Mana has it all. I mean, you talk about pushing buttons and pulling levers. <laughs> We're into it here. Yeah. Well, let's let's deal with the lack of lever first. Tell, tell us how this transmission works. What well, are our it, options? It doesn't need a clutch because it doesn't really have a transmission as such. It's a, it's a CVT variation like you find on snowmobiles or ATVs. Right. There's a pulley system with a belt and there's three different modes you can go in easily accessible by the thumb button on the right handlebar right and uh, it just selects sport touring or rain rain being the least powerful sport being the most uh, the most sporty and tight and you just twist the throttle and go you don't have to worry about shifting gears or anything else it does it all for you so if you want you can just forget about dumping the clutch just twist the throttle go yep if you want to be more active then you also have the paddle shifts right or even the foot shift yep you have but again no clutch exactly very cool um put it all together tie it in with the motor what do you think it's a nice package it's an 850 v twin a Prelia's own make uh, the usual double double overhead cam uh, fly by wire so you're not really twisting a cable yeah and uh fuel injection and uh, the throttle control is really good yeah and uh, the power is there you just twist it and you're gone yeah and then we, you know obviously you're going along you need to stop it the the brakes themselves though I mean modern radial they pretty beefy looking brake up there. yeah it's a radial uh, caliper they look like Brembo's but I'm they don't say Brembo but they sure look like it to me yeah male slider forks uh, adjustable lever uh, brakes don't have a really strong initial bite, but I think that's more geared to the audience as well. Right. You don't want them to hit really hard, you want it nice and smooth and progressive, and that's what you get. Pretty compact looking motorcycle, yeah. pretty low to the ground. It, it feels is. small underneath well, when the you're, seat height you're riding. Is, the seat height is low, and I find with my long legs, my legs were a bit cramped coming down here on the highway. But again, that's uh, the intended use, might be a new rider, and uh, it enables to place both feet flat on the floor to stop, which is very confidence inspiring. So you've got a parking brake this every parking, time. Yeah, you see it moved. Yep. Yep. Because it's in neutral all the time. Absolutely. But then there's also something here that you pull. You actually you push a button. Yep. Take, take us through the on. Uh, you think this might be the fuel tank, which it is on most motorcycles. Yeah. But not so. Just turn the key, and there's a switch up on the handlebar. Ah. And you've got all kinds of storage in there. Alice, sort of what we saw, a little bit of what we saw with the old uh, BMW F650 yep. CS. Remember yep. they had that. So where have they put the fuel? The fuel is in behind the seat here, right underneath the, uh, the passenger seat. And again, we need the key to get at that. There's a fuel filler. And say your wallet's in the storage area. Right. You think, oh, geez, I gotta get the key and all this. Not so. Flick that up. Okay. You can access your wallet or your cell phone or whatever while you're filling up with gas. So. Who is this bike for? Is this for an experienced rider or is it for a newbie? Well, I would say probably a newbie or maybe an experienced rider who um, maybe is getting on in years and has some physical problems where he can't pull the clutch in anymore or work right. the gear shift. Um, don't forget too, there's a whole generation of people that have never learned to drive a standard. Perfect. And for, for us old salts, you know, there's a lot going on, we forget that. But when you pull away from a stop on a motorcycle, you're using both hands, both feet, yeah. plus your balance. With this, all they have to do is balance and go. 
So you're impressed? Yeah, yeah, I, I can see more uses for this in the future for sure. Overall? Overall, I'd say one thumb up. Nice job, Steve. Thank you, David.